Hello YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. We are on stage two, two of the build. Stage one is completed, you can go and watch that. So uh, please go and do that, like and subscribe. And uh, just getting a bit of housekeeping out of the way again as we do start stage two, which is please like and subscribe down here. Uh, thumbs up is brilliant, it really shows YouTube that you like this sort of content and then they like what you this stuff better so it gets more more whatever youtube does <laughs> so, so stage two of the build is uh the frame the walls so we're going to start over in this corner over here so uh um i've got my miter saw got the workbench so we're going to start framing and we're going to build um the studs we're going to build the top the plates bottom and the top and we're going to start getting that. So the first one over there, because that's the highest point, and down here is ground zero. So uh, I've got to work out pitches and all sorts. So there's a lot of laser levels involved, strings and all sorts, because there's so many angles and the pitch. This is a really complicated roof to build. Uh, we do like a challenge, but first, but before you can make the roof, you've got to make the walls at all pitching at the right place. And they're all going on their own angles at different ways, but the whole thing has got to be coming down level all the way a pitch to a tiny point over there which is ground zero from up there and everything else coming out is coming up so <laughs> who fancies that job anyway i do because i'm doing it so uh this is where we're at but we've got to do all that that's part of the calculations and everything we're going to do in the build uh, in, in building the walls we've got how many windows we are going to have a window here We've got two meter, so that's about 800 by 800 window. That's going to be an opener. We've got two letterbox windows, a meter uh, by 400. They're going up. They're going to be openers as well. Then we have a window over there, uh, which is about um, I went off the camera, which is about um, uh, bip, bip, over. Where am I going? No, over there. Over there. Where am I pointing? There. That's it, I'm on my finger thing again. So in here, we've got a window, um, a nice one looking out onto the garden. Right here, nice French doors are gonna be nice and open. So this is gonna be the garden room, a really nice, nice sociable space to sit. And the workshop and shed is gonna be the other side. So maybe you don't wanna be doing any work when you're sitting in here reading your book or, or doing your meditation or drinking your gin and tonic or your wine or whatever. Don't want someone next door doing some work, do you? But <laughs> that would be interesting. Anyway, that's where we're gonna be going for stage two. So it's the walls and all of that stuff. So I've brought my mitre saw down, which are then we can get all the cuts really, it just make things a lot easier and nice and quick much quicker and totally square so we've got the mitre and i'm going to be cutting all sorts of angles as well so that's going to come into its own there and this is the tallest point of the build so we're going to get that frame up just a basic frame and then i'm going to put a support at the bottom there which that point is ground zero so i'm going to get that so we can go along this point here on the longest point we will then string a joist across the top to get our pitch and then we will start working out all our angles and everything from there so we will start measuring from that so that's what the, this part of the build is going to be So, make life easy, I've set myself up a little workstation, just using some blocks to get that to as good as, it doesn't matter, it's not quite, it's almost level, almost level, so it's the same height as the, um, the mitre saw. So, that's pretty good. Um, I'm happy with that, that's gonna be fine. In, in this, we're not making furniture here. So, once that's ripped and cut, it's going to be pretty square so that's what i've done um just a little workstation So 
So just zooming in on what we've done today. Today has been about getting the first, the, the ground zero point, which is over there. And this section here, which is the highest point of the roof. So then I can start working out because there's so many angles. Um, I have to work out at the various points, which I've now started to write down. You can see the measurements. So I've had to work that out. You can see them on the floor at various points, which then with the plumb lines that we've created, give us a height at the various points. So now I know how big uh, that wall is from that point to that, because it's got to be lower here and higher there. So it's about 28 mil difference. Uh, I think it is 28 mil actually, um, higher there than it is here. Um, you can see how that, so we, we say, we just put a piece of four by two, that isn't the joist, we'll have five by two joists, and there'll be like a, a Fitch, really, although a Fitch has a, a metal plate in, but I'm double strength in the, uh, the joist because it's such a span. So we'll have two, two lengths of five by two joined, but you'll see that further in the build. Um, to get the angles, so you can see here, if I was gonna get a piece of timber, um, <clears throat> So you can see, then that sits in there nicely, which will bring the frame this way. Um, so you, then you get a nice tight um, joint. That'll, that'll be butt up really nicely. Go into there and the frame, that'll screw in and that'll be nice and, nice and rock solid. So then that gives us to that angle. So essentially I'm gonna do that type of uh, joint on every, angle you see and then it kicks there again so I can only come to there and it's going to kick and then you do the same so it all the way around so it's quite a bit of work but it's just taking your time and doing it slowly it's not difficult you just work it out and it's just following the same formula so um that's where I've got to today and uh tomorrow I am on my other job which is teaching uh teaching and training in mental health. So that's my uh, day job tomorrow. I'll be doing that all day. I'm back on this on Saturday. Good morning, we're back on the build. The sun is still shining and we are on stage two of the build. So uh, lots of exciting stuff to do today. Uh, got a little bit of extra help. So we're gonna be building the walls. So we're just gonna show you what's going on uh, today, where I've got, I did a little bit of that as you, you did the on, half a day of stage two so the base was finished and we're on stage two so it's gonna be a good day I'll tell you. so there you go you can see the first basic frame because that's at the highest point um the frame will have you can see it will also have a plate on top uh you can see that so but this is the basic frame this is gonna have a window in so we're gonna take this down but i needed to put this up to get the pitch because I needed to build the back wall first. So I needed to get ground zero, the height, so I knew how high to build and the, the pitch to build this. Because this, because we're so clear to the near to the fence, we need to build it all the way from the outside in. So it's got to be finished, wall on the outside, and then we build it in. Because we can't get round to fix the, uh, the, the ship lap. That has to go on and then we lift the wall up in place. So that's what we're doing. We're starting to just frame this up. Uh, you can see the basic uh, uh, wall is there. We're framing it up and we're going to be building that. So we're just we're doing the wall. So that's where we're at today. So enjoy the video, everybody. And uh, comments and everything that you make during the video, I love them. So keep them coming. So a little catch up from the morning. We had quite a hectic morning here. 
Um, I should have sold tickets. There were so many people above watching. <laughs> That's okay though. It was uh, it was good. Uh, it's all gone quiet now. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, again, my friend Andy, who has been just turbocharged me a bit this morning. He was uh, kicking on. He's a carpenter. Um, and I was doing the talking, which you'll be no surprise that I do some talking and talking to the uh, the people who are watching. But anyway, um, what we're doing, OSB is going on. Uh, you can see the framework. We're cutting in the windows. So you can see I'm starting to cut those in. You can see where that is. Um, we've got about 10 mil tolerance all around. Uh, so five mil all the way around. So 10 mil overall tolerance for, for the windows. They're gonna be UPVC. Um, nice openers that are going to go in there. Um, at the bottom here, you can see the OSB overhangs. We've got about 100 mil overhang at the bottom there. So then, when there's no weather, can come back up and come in the floor and bear it. And, and then the uh, the, cla the ship lap will overhang that as well. So it's all gonna. It's way down underneath. So it's absolutely sealed in. It's locked in. Um, no weather can come back in under the floor. So that's absolutely sealed. Um, you can see there we've got an overlap again because that is the plate that goes around the top um, to tie in the walls to the to the roof. So we've got that. So we're just cutting that in and getting everything sorted out. So you can see the studs I've cut. Um, well, I think Andy actually cut those this morning, but we've got lots of cuts. We've got the header there. That's the header. So you can see the header for the window uh, that's in place. So. Uh, all good so osb will go over that that'll hold that nicely you could put some verticals some studs some small studs in there on the header you could do but it's not really necessary with all the all the osb that's going onto this and then the uh the cladding on the outside it's not going to move absolutely just not going to move so it's fine um so there you go um that's where we're at so we'll carry on in the sunshine Day two on stage two. So another day of a lot of work, pleased, tired. Don't mind being tired when you've done a good, honest day's work. So um, we are, it's, I can't remember the date. Uh, it's Sunday tomorrow and I'm coming back Monday. So day off tomorrow. And as you can see behind me, just show you what I've done. Okay. You can see the battening is on. So that is a big, we're trying to work out the weight of that and how I'm going to lift that. It's going to be a few, a few strong people and we're going to block it. So that's one way I'm working out how to do that and drop that in. So it's just been setting up. They're not on at the moment. We've just been setting them up because it's got to have the battening and the OSB on the sides. But I just was actually offering up to look at how the joint will be once it's flushed the other side, uh, the length. It'll be the same. You just take it out. So we've got that on there to get that, just get a feel of that. And you can start to see um, what we've done. So it's been a busy day getting this, this particular panel. It's a beast of a panel. Uh, it's really big and it's really heavy. Um, but and once we've added all the shiplap on, then uh, it'll be even heavier. But we'll work it out. I have a plan. Whether the plan comes to uh, absolutely is perfectly executed, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But it's all good fun. It's all part of the build. So that's the end of uh, day two of stage two. So uh, see you again soon. See you on Monday. Hello, YouTube land. It is back on Monday, the 28th of March. <laughs> Did you say June then? <laughs> Where did my brain go? It's not awake. It's early on a Monday morning. I've already done my dog walk. 
I've already been out over the fields. It was misty. Um, it's a lot colder this morning. The weather is, we've had a spectacular, probably better, way better than average last week. The weather was stunning. I was really fortunate to have uh, that sort of weather. The weather is going to be changeable this week. It's going a lot colder. Um, not winter cold, but cold. Uh, maybe more seasonal norm for this time of year. Um, so I looked at the weather forecast. Here I am forecasting the weather. And there was this big blue coming over. It had been all orangey and, and nice warm colours. Now this blue is coming from the north, down from uh, the Arctic area. So going to be colder. And I think there's some rain tomorrow. So I'm um, going to have to deal with that. I've got a big tarpaulin. I've got a bigger five by eight metre tarpaulin so I can cover the site. So we can at least uh, keep uh, keep what I need to keep dry, keep it dry. Anyway, today we're going to be carrying on with the, uh, the, uh, the wall over here. I'm going to get that clad. Uh, and then tonight, there's, it's probably going to be about four people to lift it, I think, in reality. Um, um, so you won't see me struggling and 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 uh, and some catastrophic <laughs> thing happen on YouTube live on YouTube. There's me flattened under a wall like a a, com a a cartoon character. That wouldn't be very good, would it? Especially after a hip replacement. So um, that's to do today. So I've got that. So we're just carrying on with the walls and uh, and then I will uh, and that's where we're going to go today. So enjoy. <laughs> we got to well we are the wall is essentially it's var it's treated on the outside cut all the windows in this morning put all the uh, ship lap on um, we've got the overhang uh, for the walls to come in either side so you can see the overhang and the walls come up both sides and you can see you can see down there it's quite a get that out of the way there you go quite an overhang um yeah i don't know whether you saw that or not so that's going to dry and then tonight that's going to be put up by quite a few people yeah, it's seriously heavy that seriously big wall but we'll do it we'll block it okay that's where we're at another end of the day am i tired yes but i'm allowed to be tired worked hard again 
um, I'm going to spin the camera around and just show you what I've done. Okay, the sight at the end of the day, we've got rain, so possibly rain stops play like it does in the cricket. It doesn't in the football or lots of other things and rugby, but uh, rain stops playing the cricket, doesn't it? It might stop play here because uh, there's only so much I could do and I'm not getting my tools out in the... In the uh, it's not a good good thing to get your, your tools out and get them soaking wet because they tend to get ruined. Um, so there we go, we've got that... Uh, we've got that panel is moving along nicely. We've just lifted that, so that's a really good job sitting there now under a tarpaulin, just being protected for the weather. So that's the end of this day. So I, depending on weather, I might not be back until later on in the week to, towards Thursday. Um, I'm working on my other job on Wednesday, so. Uh, tomorrow if the rain is gonna it looks like it might rain all day but if it doesn't I might be able to get in and do some so we we shall see so there we go back <laughs> I've had a couple of days uh, doing my other job uh, my mental health job teaching uh, back this morning I can't actually say I'm awake I'm trying to be awake I've had a first coffee um coffee essential fuel in the morning <laughs> tried to have some breakfast but i wasn't awake enough to eat me breakfast i was like Ugh. it is cold it's gone back to being that time of year isn't it in 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 march in the uk where it's uh it can be like we've had that spectacular weather and now it's it's sunny today which is good it's dry uh but it's just about one degree of our freezing so uh pretty cold um it's been raining, so I've had some of the, the, the stuff covered up, the tarpaulin, I've got to take all that apart. Uh, but it's done its job, it's protected the site, so a couple of days of rain. I think we've got some clear uh, for the next few days of where it's going to be dry. Cold, yes, I can do cold, because we'll get working, we'll get warm. But at the moment, my, my body is going, Ugh. <laughs> Like, oh, come on, Mark. Come on, get going. So, uh, yes, I'm going to get going. I'm going to push on through. And uh, in an hour or so, I'll be good. So, uh, back on it today. That was a lift. I blocked it. I used the timber as a lever to lift it and then got it to a height so it wasn't literally a deadlift. Um, it was heavy but it was manageable. Um, so it's up. The uh, That wall is up in place and we will start making some of the others now. another day it's april the first that means it's april fool's day i've just remembered just in that moment i went it's april fool's day not that anyone's going to be uh <laughs> maybe i'm the fool being out here on a freezing cold morning <laughs> ice all over the uh the site on the on the job um yeah come on <laughs> um we wake up soon the sun's out so it's going to be a good day um, lots to do. We've got all that up last night um, behind me up in this corner. So that wall has gone up. As you see, got that up last night. Got to do the cladding the other side and then batten in. But um, so we're going to continue with the walls over here. So going to be continuing today uh, doing that. So that's where we're at. And the seagulls are flying above. Oh, 
that's been a morning. Glad that's done. All the cuts, lots of cuts in quite a tight little space. Um, so that's done. Um, this actual shed, this old shed, will be taken down once this is built. So um, if any of you thinking, well, that's a bit tight there, isn't it? <laughs> Why you put a window there? <laughs> because this is going to be a seating area. But at the moment, it's the old shed, which will come apart. So there you go. Nice uh, morning's work. Got it cut in nice and tight. Um, down the top. Ready for the roof. Okay, that's the end of today. Just packing up now. I am knackered. <laughs> but that's okay. Good honest work. There's the wall. So we've got that one. That one's done. And it's coming along. Another quite of a beast of a wall. So a couple of people to lift that tomorrow. But it's Saturday, so um, we'll have some people around tomorrow. So that makes that a bit easier. Don't want to hurt ourselves. So a good day, another good day. That wall done, um, leveled out again, did a lot of leveling on the, the roof just to make sure. Um, so yes, we'll talk more about it tomorrow. I'm Steve. I'm uh, I'm watching Mark uh, and his progress he's making on this lovely development here in Dorset. Let me just take you on to the piece he's just done. He's cut a fantastic angle on this piece to join it, like a jigsaw puzzle. You might want to see this because you might want to have a go at this yourself. Let's get closer and um, have a look at what he is doing. Yeah, let's just knock that down as well, Mark. Shall we make a bit more? <laughs> Um, uh, so and down. here it is. Now, this Mark will tell you something about this angle. There you go. You can see right down it. Right down. It's, it. I've made it so it, it behind the point of that is it fits like a tight piece on a jigsaw puzzle. I've had to do a 15 degree cut, and it is set back that distance away from the the edge. Which when that joins in the wood behind, I've just offered it up with wood, and when it joins in the wall that will that was quite a cut that was quite a cut and quite a bit of working out to get that so that when it joins Coming. in behind because it's got to seal in so i've got to have a really tight yeah. join behind and it overlaps the other side which is where the osb comes over onto that bit so it comes away from the join if this is too technical for you come to my channel speed palette made um and then it'll be uh it'll be construction made easy um or childlike you might want to call me mr what was his name the guy that lives locally. I can't remember. Come to me for anything you need simplified, okay? Bless you. See Thank you, you Steve. <laughs>wet it's not raining now so i'm going to try and get on a little bit um the thing about the rain working outside is not me it's my tools 
and I'm not prepared and most people are not prepared to sacrifice their tools in fact you just can't because the rain will just ruin your tools so uh, that's more the issue uh, if, I, if all my tools were waterproof and could work underwater which some can I suppose then I would carry on so I am going to carry on today I'm going to try and battle against it there's a lot of rain forecast this week so I'm going to get on and see how much progression I do uh, so who knows uh, we can't do anything about that can we we've enjoyed it it's been brilliant for a couple of weeks so no problem we'll just deal with what's in front of us that's what we have to do so we've got this wall which we've got to finish off just got to cut that in then batten it put the membrane on clad it it's going to go in that section there as you can see uh, and then once that's done uh, we start on the front so we've got the basically all the back walls and then we're on the front here uh, where are all the doors so a door is going the shed door is going right there uh, nice uh, French French doors are going here and there is an internal wall that is going to go across which separates the shed from the garden room so got a lot to do still and obviously a, a roof <laughs> So, but we will crack on with the day. That's where we got to on Monday the 4th. Um, brilliant. for me money there oh I had to take that one off pull it around a bit and I did it on my own I have to say that was heavy but using a lot of uh, clamps to pull things in so using all the clamps I've got in my workshop just went back and got them um, we got we're pretty good it's essentially in I now I've got to do some sealing ceiling of the joints that's okay but it's pretty good so we now have the walls as you go around just got the front to do now day been starting to make the doors the front so we're making the framework for the doors you can see there uh, probably yeah looking that so we're going to get on with that today just been to Juicens, order a load of more materials to get which will come very close to actually the finish um, so some more stuff that I need I didn't want to be totally overrun although I've been there's a lot of materials going into this it's a big build but it's all good fun. So the sun is shining. We're going to get on with it today and you can see some more. So here we go.
so that's the end of another day i've lost track of how many days we are coming towards the end of stage two of the uh of the build stage two is all the walls uh so i'm just going to show you what's been done today and where we're at ah, so you can see there we've got the door we've got all the noggins in around there nice and so that pillar's really strong there in there so we have essentially all the walls i've just got some cladding to do as you'll see on the other side but that is the this is the shed door uh the shed side the petition is going to go across there petition wall the stud wall and that's for the french doors uh which is the opening there and you can see now yeah it's looking good looking good and then we come to the outside excuse the shaky camera and that's what we've got to today so we have got the cladding to go on the outside here and then we start the roof so that will be stage two completed once that cladding is on so we're getting very close so uh not back on my uh teaching job tomorrow my mental health teaching job so i'll be back here weather permitting thursday at the end of the week uh weather looks a bit iffy so we'll see how we go but looking good good morning thursday the 7th of april um just had another delivery from juicens um a few, some more stuff mostly internal stuff a bit more to finish uh, needed a bit more for the internal wall um so lots of stuff more roofing stuff um yeah gonna get back on it today uh we should all being well finish stage two <laughs> or we'll finish the walls we've got the cladding to do over here on the outside here on the the front fascias front facing fascias where the all the door apertures are the doors and stuff so yeah get that done and then that's stage two and then we start going onto the roof so it's good <laughs> i'm excited to finish stage two um this is a big build it's a big project uh, I've been on it oh, just over two weeks now, probably two and a half. No, actually, yeah, two and actually, it's coming up for three weeks. Three weeks this weekend. So uh, we, we're close, aren't we? So two weeks. <laughs> Another week has gone by. So it'll be three weeks this weekend. So that's pretty good. Primarily uh, a solo build. I've had a few hours uh, given to me by uh, the, uh, the customer, Steve. Uh, and he, he he did a little bit of stuff on the uh, on the foundations, just a bit of, uh, digging out, helping out. And Andy, my uh, good friend, who's a carpenter, he's in the trade. He's popped over occasionally just to see how he's going on, and then he's just lent a hand for a little bit. So, but so ninety plus percent, it's been a solo build. So ninety easily. But we're there. We're getting there. Three weeks. I'm I'm impressed. <laughs> So what we're doing here as we put this on we're just mitering it so we that's inverted isn't it so we're just bringing as you can see we're mitering it in and i'm also gluing it because then it will it will just uh it won't come apart so that's how we're doing that so we're just mitering all the way up all the way up there
stage two is complete. We've got the walls up. We are going to start doing the roof. So uh, we're not doing the internal. We can't do the internal because it's not weather tight. I'm sure you know that. <laughs> so uh, we're going to uh, get on. I'm just going to show you around what we've done so you can actually see in a lot more detail. Uh, but that is stage two. So uh, then we'll be going on to stage three, the roof, and then maybe stage four is the internal stuff. So I think that's how we'll do it. Stage two, three and four. I'm just making it up. <laughs> right, we're going to show you around. So we're just in a sweep. We can see the front. You've seen that done today. And uh, we just walk down to it. Uh, I did talk through the mitering of that joint, that corner. That's looking nice. So that's looking nice and, and there. And then we can see, I mean, here we have an internal wall, uh, which is the space. This is the, the gonna be the garden room side, as you know. We're just laying and we're starting to get the roof. So the roof is just getting the joists. Um, in case I don't know what is top. <laughs> so yeah, we've got that. Super, we've actually put, because it's a big roof and there's a lot of weight, uh, put um, the fence posts. So that's just, yeah, it's a lot, that can take a lot of weight. So I'm gonna start that, that it just supports the roof. So there should be no, lagging just walking through the wall the only time i can actually walk through walls and then we're looking back at the shed side looking from the back wall so there you can see all the studs um uh, we've got the returns on we've done the the noggins for the headers uh, i've done them today more noggins for the headers um returns on the walls so it's looking good so super pleased so i hope you like this uh that you find it interesting so please like and subscribe uh that's the uh that's stage two of this build the garden room there'll be some videos floating around here the other videos maybe stage one is obviously going to be there so as i said please like and subscribe and share the video and uh so from me mark at the small workshop adventures take care everybody bye